Hey everyone, uh, Marcus from Arby. Uh, we are starting our demo hours and also office hours. So as usual, if someone has uh, some questions, can send on the Slack uh, on the chat, or you can click on participate and enter the video chat and we, we can discuss. Uh, if no one have any questions, I can start showing our demonstration today. That's going to be how to use our Slack webhook not notification. So. I'm going to wait a few minutes, then I'm going to start the, the demo. Okay, uh, so I think no one has any questions, so I'm going to share my screen and start presenting. Okay. Uh, I have already uh, Airbyte instance deployed uh, locally with uh, source and destination with uh, a Postgres to Postgres. And the idea is to show to you guys how to set our notification system is a webhook uh, to alert when some connections fail. Can be very helpful. And I'm gonna show like uh, two types using the Slack webhook and also how use like Zapier to send to a Gmail account. And if we have time, I can show you how to customize using a, a custom hook to, to have this option. Uh, so to show um, my trigger here, going to sync again, just to showing that I'm gonna have another succeed sync. So here we have our logs. And the idea is now made this thing fail. So what I'm gonna to do is stop source. So this is going to uh, make my sync fail. So we we can receive our email. Uh, I have this Slack workspace as a test, so I create a, a channel here, Airbyte webhook, and I'm going to show you how to create this app on the Slack, and you can uh, trigger that. So there is this web page on Slack, the webhooks, so it's a very straightforward one. Uh, we can go here, create a Slack app. You need to be an admin on the, your workspace. So create an app. And we can go here. So and select your workspace. After that, we need to select the incoming web webhooks and activate that. With this one, um, we have this option here. So we are going to create a new webhook. With that, 
we can select our channel or we can send uh, a direct message to, to someone. So the idea is to, to send to that channel. With that, uh, it's like create a URL. So we copy that and we can go into settings on Airbyte. We have the notification and here we can, oh, sorry. Copy and post here. So we can save and we can test and see that our webhook send a message as a test here. So the idea now is just to, to make a, a sync that is going to fail because I removed my source. So it's going to run three times and after fail for three times, then the Airbyte is going to, to launch the, the webhook notification. For now, it's a, it's a very basic uh, notification system, but when you are having a more and more connections, can be helpful. And I'm going to show you where you can find the code for the notifications on the Airbyte uh, project. And if you have an idea to improve or uh, contribute to that, we really appreciate that. So just waiting for the next two. Okay, so it's running the, the second temp and we need to wait for the third one. At the moment, uh, we only support like one uh, webhook URL here. So maybe in the future we can work in the, to add more options. And also the text is like standard text we're going to receive. So maybe we can improve that too. So just get C and the second attempt also fail and going to launch the third attempt. So uh, when it's running, I'm going to show you here. So anyone who is interested in the notification to improve that, uh, there is a module here like Airbyte notification. You can go here and change that if you need it to customize that. So it's a very basic uh, code for now. So it's easy to change and easy to improve. And let's see.
Okay, so we have the three attempt fails and we receive the message on Slack. The Postgres version, the Postgres destination, and we can click here and go into our uh, instance of Airbyte. So the idea now is to use Zapier to create a Zap to receive the webhook uh, context and send a mail for us. So right now I go here, create a Zap. This option is only available for premiums, but um, as I'm going to show you another ways when you can create a hook using a free tool. So catch a hook and we create the first part of the Zapier. So continue. And we have this link here, which is our webhook URL. So we can replace that and save here. Send a test message to Zapier so we can test here so we receive the test message and we can continue. So the idea is uh, to use Gmail. So send an email here, continue. And I'm gonna select my, my account. With production, probably you have a user to, to send emails there. And here I'm going to select a fake email I have here. Oh, copy. And the subject is by job fail and in the body I'm gonna add the text so I can click a continue and I'm gonna try test and see already received a message, the, the test message, so we can just, oops, notifications appear. I'm going to sync now, again, just to, to make sure that we're going to receive our email on our fake uh, inbox. Uh, when the, the job is running, I'm going to show you another service that you can also use. That is the rook.io. This is a open source project, so you can create your web hooks and use uh, any language to, to do that. So I have like an account already created here, and I can create a, a new web hook like Arabite web hook. Chat. So this is going to be my URL with the webhook. Uh, so you have the options to, to choose any language here. So when I prefer to use Python. And the idea here is that the, the payload, the, the JSON that everybody is going to send or the to this API is going to be inside the Rook params. So we can see that everybody's going to send like only uh, 
a JSON on this format. So, sorry, job fade. So, what we need to do here is just like getting here like the text. So, let me remove here. This is going to capture the airbyte response from the, the failure notification system. Because this is a, is a Python uh, job is going to, to run, we need to import some modules and to, to work with that. So the idea here, I, I'm going to copy from a pre-made, so, but it's very easy. We need to have like a JSON and a request library. And we already have our response. So this is going to be the text, the, the string format already. And what do we need? I, I'm going to use like the error at the Slack again the, to send a message to Slack just to show you guys how we can uh, make this request with a custom uh, web hook. But you can use like AWS Lambda or Google Functions or maybe the Azure uh, functions. I, I don't have the knowledge of Azure servers for that. And with that information, you can extract the text from the response and work with that and maybe send to BigQuery and have like a table with a history of your failure jobs and have a dashboard with that information. So for mating the request, you need to have the text for your, your response. The headers, that because the Slack re receive a JSON application, also you you can see this on the Slack webhook page. They are showing how you can do like a curve uh, request. And here is the, the code for the, the request itself. Like is this is our webhook for the Slack channel. So is what's going going here. And we need to pass our headers and also the our data into the, the data variable here. So with that, we can like save the code. We can test also, but because it's not receiving uh, the text here, it's going to fail at the moment. So we can have like a better use here with the Python dictionaries we can like get and uh, things like that, so you can work on top. But the idea is to, to save and try with that. So here, so the idea now, we should see an email here. Let's see. Oh, damn. Sorry, guys, I forgot to turn off my zap. So now it's, it's on, so I... Okay, so we're gonna try again. Just uh, that is any questions so far? Uh, any suggestions? Someone is looking, have some ideas. is is nice to share. You can send messages on Slack channel for us, so we can discuss there some options. Uh, so we need to wait again. Sorry about that. But the idea of the webhook is, is the same. It's going to receive the data so you can work on top with that. And it's going to send the message to Slack. So if you are go using Google Functions, it's very easy to use BigQuery integration. So it's, it's a nice way to, to handle that. Uh, at the moment, we have like the 
uh, by notification is using like a, a file to have a standard message. So what I'm looking is that we maybe can have a custom way to do that, like having the options to add a, a way to add a text field here so people can customize their response to, to the webhook, maybe adding more uh, endpoints there. So yeah, at the moment, it's not possible to customize the payload itself because it's, the payload is building based on this uh, file. But as I show you before, is a is a very easy uh, module, so probably is something that we can improve, like uh, or giving the option to add this on the web UI to people customize there, or maybe uh, having a a file inside the Docker containers, so the module is gonna search for that file, maybe like on the slash tmp uh, slash uh, notification dot txt this is some some idea so people could uh, customize it, the payload for let's see if so just one more Uh, do you guys uh, see the necessity of uh, not having only for failure, but also for success, maybe using the webhook to show other system that the job is already done, is something that you are thinking to use, or is more really to, to capture the failure and know when you need to intervene to, to see what's going on? So a few seconds and we have our first last attempt. Uh, so present. So this is the last, because uh, we need to wait uh, a few seconds. So I'm gonna show you for everyone who is not on the, the latest version of Airbyte, we have some upgrades on the uh, UI. Now we have the sync mode with a, a better uh, display here. Also, if we choose uh, the cursor field and the primary key, I think is already have a better display. Okay, so now we have our email sent here, so we receive that. The job fails, so we can click here and go into the Airbyte and see the, the connection that failed. So that was the idea to show you. I know that's some basic, but I it's nice to show people the options and features that Airbyte has, how to use that and configure so people can uh, implement themselves. Uh, there is any more questions, uh, suggestions can be can be made on chat. You can send messages on our Slack channel. If you are not registered there, you are welcome. Thanks, Hendrik. Uh, yes, this is, is a basic one. So uh, if you have any ideas how to improve now that you see that, you can go into the GitHub project and open a, a request for a, a new feature so we can work on, on top of that.
let me stop my okay i think this was the idea for this session uh probably there's three main things that we can uh work on that is customize the payload as prasanna asked also add new endpoints and maybe be very user friendly and let people change the pay, the text in the web UI. Also, I, I see like people was requesting for succeed jobs too, and maybe for the future we can improve that and enable for some connections and other connections is not uh, needed to have like uh, a failure job because if you have like uh, ten. Uh, connections that run every five minutes you maybe have uh, some problems receiving a lot of emails so you don't want to have that so maybe having the options to configure by connection as maybe a custom operation like a post operation as the sync can be a, a good way to to handle that Uh, you can create a, a custom web hook with using the hook.io, but you are going to receive the standard response for Airbyte. So you're going to have the information like the source and the destination and the time the, the job failing. And But for now, it's not possible to change the, the it on the Airbyte but it's a very basic model, so it's easy to improve that. Okay. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, if you have any question or feature that you want to see uh, a live demo, uh, please send a message to me on the Slack channel so we can discuss and, and I can uh, work to show to you guys how to use that while we can leverage Airby2 to be a better product and you help you. So I uh, think there is no more questions. So I'm going to end the event. See uh, you guys around coming into Slack. Bye-bye.